so moving on to the next question which is counting divisors so in this task we are given n integers and for each integers we have to calculate how many divisors are there for that particular number right so 16 has 5 divisors so it is 1 2 4 8 and 16 these are the 5 divisors so let us see the intuition behind the problem so if we give our 16 22 and likewise so many numbers right so what we can do from the very intuitive method we can apply a for loop and find how many divisors are there for each number so it will be like for int i is equal to 1 2 uh, that number which is let us suppose v of i right i plus plus and we will find whether the number is divisible by i or not so it will be divisible if v of i modulo i equal to 0 right so we will increment the counter and at last we will print the count so this is the very naive approach and the complexity of this approach will be in each number we are iterating x times because the value of x is 10 to the power 6 and n is 10 to the power 5 so for each number we are iterating x times and number of numbers are n so overall time complexity will be big O of n into x which is nearly about 10 to the power 5 into 10 to the power 6 which will be 10 to the power 11 and it will lead us to a TLE so any better optimization we can do so you must have gone through like if x is divisor, divis, divisor of v of i then v of i by x is also a divisor uh, let us take an example for understanding this let us suppose v of i is 6 and we know that x is equal to 2 is divisor then it is always satisfied that x by 2 or v of i by x which is 6 by 2 is also a divisible or divisor of this number and let us suppose uh, x is something like a big number so instead of iterating all the numbers you can just iterate to square root of that number so square root of 6 will be 10 to the power 3 because let us say the numbers are 1 2 3 up to 10 to the power 3 and then 10 to the power 6 so when we will see that 1 is divisor, divisor of 10 to the power 6 then uh, x by this is i we are iterating from i to 10 to the power 3 then x by i which is 10 to the power 6 is also a divisor now when we increment our i to 2 and see that i is also a divisive divisor of x then x by i which is 10 to the power 6 by 2 is also a div divisor of i divisor of x so 10 to the power 6 will come here somewhat here so we don't have to iterate to all the numbers we just have to iterate till square root of that number right so for each number we have to compute square root of x and there are n numbers so complexity will be square root of x into n which is approximately square root of x will be 3 into 10 power 5 which is, which is again a very great number because the complexity should be less than or equal to 10 power 7 
so it will also not gonna pass our test cases i have tried this one because i think that because sometimes 10 power 8 passes in some systems but here they don't allow so we have to again optimize it to 10 power 7 or less let us see some better optimization so what if we iterate for each uh, what if we save the answers of each number because the value of x is still 10 to the power 6 so what if we store the value before end and just give the value in O of 1 so let us suppose this is the number 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 we are given n equal to 7 and x can be anything so we know that 2 is divisible div, div, divisor of 2 so 2 is divisor of 2 4 6 8 10 and so on right so we can increment the divisor of all these numbers so we will increment divisor of divisor of 2 we can increment divisor of 4 we can increment divisor of 6 and so on so this array will contain all the numbers till 10 to the power 6 because we want to calculate for all the numbers now we will go for 3 so we will increment so 3 will be divisor of 3 6 9 12 and so on so we will increment the count uh, number of divisor of 3 number of divisor of 6 and so on likewise if we go and calculate and store the divisor of all numbers and in next iteration we can just cal uh, output the number of divisors in O of n but what's the complexity of this algorithm because for 2 the number of iterations are x by 2 the number of iterations for 3 are x by 3 Similarly, the number of iterations will be x by x. So it will start from x by 1 and it will go to x, x by x. And if you calculate this, it will come out to be log of x. So, the overall time complexity will be n log of x, which will be around 10 to the power 5 into log of 10 to the power 6 which is very much optimized version of n into root x so you have to follow this method for each number you have to increment the counter from 2 then to 4 then to 6 then to 8 and then for 3 you have to increment the counter by 3 for 4 you have to increment the counter by 4 so number of numbers for 4 will be x by 4 likewise you have to calculate so i will show you the algorithm So I have initialized a counter variable, count ve uh, vector which will store the number of divisors it has and I have applied a for loop from 1 to 10 power 6 and increment the inner loop by i and increment the number of divisors in the count vector and for each number x I am outputting the number of divisors the x has. So this was the solution of this problem. I hope you like it. Thank you very much.